We're going to stab my motor with this distributor. Stick around and see what happens. Hi, my name is Andy, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to set the timing on the 289 in my 1966 Mustang. So let's get started. So in my case, this distributor is not positioned correctly. Uh, in a previous video, I put this hard line in for the fuel, and it's hitting this uh, vacuum advance housing, and that's when I noticed that I think this distributor's kind of, and it needs to be more in line with the, with the block here. So in this case, I want to redo the timing on my motor, so we need to take this distributor out first. Uh, for those of you that already have it out, then we could just skip this step, and, and then pretty soon we'll be into that point where you will want to stab the to stab you the distributor. So we're going to use a half inch and we can just undo this nut or this bolt down here. Okay, now we can just we can pull this off. We don't need to pull any of the wires for this. We'll just set this to the side. And then we can pull this, pull this out. Now we don't need to, we don't want, we, we still have it hooked up here, so we're just gonna leave it to the side for now. So now the next thing, now that we have this out, so this is where if you didn't have this in yet, this is where you would start, or if you wanted to reposition it, we're in the same spot now. So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna get cylinder number one on the compression stroke. So let's take out that spark plug and then we're going to start turning the motor over until we can feel that there's compression in that cylinder. Okay, now with the spark plug out with number one, we're going to want to put our finger in the hole and you want to want to plug the hole with your finger, not just cover it, you want to plug it. So as we turn the motor over, that you'll feel it push your finger out of the, out of the, the spark plug hole. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can have somebody turn the motor over with the starter, and just kind of blip it, or if you're by yourself like I am, then you just turn over the motor using the, the crank bolt. Uh, so we'll put a wrench on that, we'll stick our finger in here, and then we'll start turning over until I get to the compression side. pushing the air past my finger and so we know we're on the compression side so what we're gonna do now is move down to the crankshaft and put it on 12 degrees uh, before top dead center all right for the purpose of this I put a black line at the 12 degree mark it's really hard to see in the video and I can even barely see it standing here um, but that black line is the 12 degrees and we want to line it up with that pin so if we, uh, now that we know that we're on the compression stroke, we can just move this forward just till it aligns with 12 degrees, which is right there. Okay, now we're ready to stab the distributor. All right, now that cylinder number one is in the compression stroke and we're at 12 degrees on top dead center, we can go ahead and stab the distributor. And when we put this in here, you wanna be mindful um, of a couple things. One. This notch in the distributor cap aligns with this fastener here, and then cylinder number one is labeled, so we kind of want to know where this is pointing, and where it's pointing is most towards the back. And we also have to make sure that these straps that clip onto the cap, if you turn it too far this way, the strap can't move, so it's not quite that far. So we're going to position it roughly in this area, and then we're going to go ahead and drop it in place. And this may take a couple tries, because you're trying to get this thing fully seated down here on the bottom. And you just kind of pick it up and it's just kind of maybe move this just a little bit there. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. So now we're fully seated on the bottom 
and this is pointing roughly towards the back and with respect to this screw here we know that we're kind of in the right spot so we can go ahead and we're gonna put the screw back in that locks this down and you can see in here that this is seated all the way down which is where we want it to be now we can put this retaining tab back in place and that will hold the distributor uh, in place so by putting a test light on the negative terminal of the coil and plugging the other end of it into positive of the battery we can rotate this and we can find out right when right when the light bulb goes out which is right right about there you can't see it it's off camera but um, so that's about ish where we want it to be and what we'll do is we'll we'll lock this down and then we'll fire it up and then we can make a, a fine adjustment by moving this and, and, and using a, a light gun a timing gun to see down below if it's aligning um, on the crankshaft okay we take the test light off we'll go ahead and put the distributor cap back on line we took off earlier all right uh, let's put in the, the spark plug and cylinder number one and then we'll fire it up So what I ended up doing here is my main goal was to make sure that this distributor was positioned correctly for my build, but even if you were starting new or wanted to redo your timing, I think this should be able to help you out and get you going in the right spot. Uh, from here, um, you, I have a timing light and I was able to kind of dial that in and make sure it's just right where I want it. Not everybody has that, so that's where you can use that connecting to the negative terminal of the coil and the positive one of the battery and then you can find right when it's going to fire and at least you can start from there um, and then you can adjust this distributor as you need to and you can hear the motor happier when you've got that timing dialed in a little better um, and then of course the timing light would would make it uh, even even more of a fine precision uh, timing so uh, from there i think we're set if this is what i wanted it to do and uh, we're good to go thanks for sticking with me we'll see you in the next one we're gonna set the timing on my. No. We're gonna set the time. No. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set the timing on the, the car. <laughs> that should be a lot easier if this hard line was in the way that I just put in. <laughs> okay, that's not working. <laughs> I get a better seal. So we got number. We got. Uh, we're gonna stab the distributor in my motor. Stick with me to. <laughs> We're gonna stab my motor with this distributor. Turn around.